I transferred a little over two years ago to William Patterson from Montclair, and when I uh, when I first <clears throat> signed up for school, I knew I wanted to do some kind of sport. I hadn't really done anything before in college, so I went on the website and I found that uh, they had club sports, one of which was rugby, which always interested me. I went to a club meeting and I met all the guys, all the original guys, and um, they just finished their first year, and uh, we kind of kind of got into it from there. Yeah, like I said, I'm original member of the team. Um, coming from back in the day when we first started, we didn't have any jerseys. Nobody had, basically nobody had cleats, uh, rugby shorts. Uh, we actually borrowed jerseys from the North Jersey rugby team in order to play in our tournaments. Uh, it's just come a long way. Uh, I was a little intimidated. My first practice I saw uh, someone get their head split open in a practice. I had to drive them to the hospital, so I was a little intimidated. One of the last games we played with North Jersey the men's team before we had this team, I broke my collarbone and that made me reassess whether I wanted to play or not, but I came back. You just got to keep playing. Speaking of injuries, I'm probably the most injury prone person on the team. It's just a tough game. It's 80 minutes, non-stop, hitting, running. It's just, you're just beating the crap out of your body, but you, you love it. It's a sick, sick way. You love it. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. I was like, who's fighting already? This is a good clean game. It's the only sport where you can punch people in the face on the field and tackle them and then go and drink with them after. Even the refs come out to drink ups, which is pretty awesome. My first drink up, I was like so, I did not know anything about it. Songs, I was like, these people sing, like it was just, it was very bizarre, but you, you get into it, you learn the songs, uh, and you know, shooting boots. I mean, it's just, the tradition in rugby is, is so, so different from everything. It's, it's awesome. After games, like both teams go and like just hang out and have a good time, you know, and forget like who won, who lost. So it's the only, only sport I've ever played where you're actually like singing songs and just having a good time after the game instead of wallowing if you lost or gloating if you win, that kind of stuff. You celebrate the winner, you know, the people, the best people who play in that particular I wanna, game. I want to fucking share my man of the match with fucking yeah, I wanna get a Murph too. Kevin no. Murphy. Kevin Michael Murphy. Oh, 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 oh. Phil, fill up your cup. You two fill up your cup. But then, like, 
everyone else just still comes together, you know, like eat food together and just have fun and chill for some time, you know. And that that's like a, a big part of like the whole club, rugby club uh, scene. I mean, I gotta give a shout out to Bolin because Bolin was the mastermind behind it all. It's crazy, I mean, Willie P Rugby Lifestyle, it, 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 goes, it gets wild, I mean, the drink ups are awesome because right after a victory usually, you know, we're, we're all flipping out off the wall and just line up the kegs, you know, <laughs> like everyone gets there, we just start singing, there's hundreds of people there, you know, these parties that, and they're so much fun, you know, I can't, I can't really get enough of it, but just this, I've seen some of the most disgusting stuff that any person should ever have to see in their life at a rugby drink up. But it's all in good fun, you know, and everyone, everyone, everyone loves to hang, be a part of it, you know? So it's a great time, though. It's a great time. The fucking boys who are here. Hey, baby. One more time. Hey, I want you to, hold up, I got to say something. Dominate on three, baby. No, I got to fucking say something. Call us, you about to give us a speech. Give us a speech. Give us a speech. We call us. Give us a speech. Give us a speech. Give us a speech. Give us a speech. Listen up. It's been a fucking honor and a pleasure playing with you guys. Ow. I've never had more fun in my entire life. Wait, wait, wait. Fucking the third year, the third time in a row, regional playoffs, we fucking pull it off. Dynasty! Woo. Let's fucking go. I want to thank Murph. Time, baby. I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank Murph Murphy. for making an amazing play today. Oh, Good yeah. fucking save and try. Yeah. I want to I thank everybody who gave their all all season. To Billy, to Billy, to all of you boys. To Billy, this is our fucking team. And John Russo and Bill Hoffman. Oh, Bill Hoffman, baby. Bill Hoffman. Let's go. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. As far as I'm concerned, this school would be terrible if it wasn't for rugby. I mean, I know a lot of us probably wouldn't want to be here. Uh, we don't really have much going for us as far as like other school activities are concerned. Everybody would just pretty much be chilling in their rooms. A lot of people come to college and they're not really, haven't really found their niche or that, you know, they don't know where they want to belong. And for a lot of guys who never even heard of rugby, they were exposed to it and now they can't get enough of it. A big part of rugby, there's a lot of like, uh, like a brotherhood aspect, you know, to the whole thing where like people have to be like friends on the pitch and like friends off the pitch. I mean, off the field, I mean, we get together, you know, all the time, party, you know, we all hang out. On the field, learning the sport, I think that brings us a lot closer together. You call anybody up, anybody's in, the, in like a bind, you can call one of your teammates up if you're on campus and get out here and help you out, shit like that. The players I've played with over the years, you know, three years are now my best friends. You know, I can look at them and for a favor and I expect them to look at me for a favor and it's, it's just something that, you know, is awesome. Like it brought us together with a lot of people that like otherwise I would not maybe I would not be hanging out with them you know because we're coming together through a sport not through like what type of music we listen to or, or like where we chill you know it was just like for the love of the game. It, it's such a great thing when you have you know collectively a group of so many different kinds of people that when they're they're, they're doing something similar it, it just creates a bond and will make you connect with people you never thought you would connect with. You know, our team has got a variety of different characters. Just <laughs> We have guys that join a team that like don't really talk the first couple weeks. We get them out, you know, we get them pumped, we get them on the, on the field, and then just a new social side of them comes out that I don't think they've ever even shown. I'd say like the team, like especially like between me, Bill and John, like the team like brought me like some of the best friends I've had in my whole life, you know just because we've been together like through a lot like from trying to get the team started from playing together from like after game like just hanging out i guess like i could just say i through the through the team that i know them you know if it wasn't for the team probably i would never have known them and uh, these two guys are like they're like my brothers man <laughs>